Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're talking about the fields in psychology. There are tons of different fields of psychology out there. People tend to only think about counselors or therapists, people who sit in a clinical office working with patients. But the field of psychology is way more broad than that. It's kind of like how when you picture a doctor, they're usually in an emergency room. But there are lots of other doctors who do lots of other things. It's easier to visualize an ER doctor, but that doesn't make a neurosurgeon less of a doctor. The same goes for psychology. Just because it's easier to visualize that clinical therapist doesn't make any of the fields that we're going to talk about less psychology. Now, real quick, if you want to know more about what psychology is, make sure you check out our other Psy vs. Psy videos. Today, we're going to talk about 12 fields in psychology and what types of jobs they do. So the first field we're going to talk about is biopsychology, which is just what it sounds like. You take biology and psychology, and smush them together, biopsychology. Biopsychologists study how biology influences our behavior and emotions. So the study of biological mechanisms of behavior and how biology influences behavior. People who are biopsychologists are usually employed in fields like occupational or physical therapy, or they may work in fields like pharmaceuticals. Uh, if you really wanted to drill down, they may even work in really specific fields like substance abuse research. The next field is evolutionary psychology. This one again, just what it sounds like. It's evolution and psychology. So how behaviors evolve to solve survival or reproductive problems. For example, uh, some things like phobias probably helped us to survive. If you have a fear of snakes, ophidophobia, uh, you're gonna stay away from snakes. Therefore, you're not going to get bitten by a snake, and you're going to survive and not die from being bitten by a snake. Hopefully, you'll get the chance to reproduce, be able to pass down that fear to your children, who will then be taught by you to be afraid of snakes. Now, careers in evolutionary psychology might seem limited, but one of the new fields that incorporates evolutionary psychology is artificial intelligence. So things like app design, video games. If you're designing a new game, you can utilize evolutionarily advantageous behaviors, like say a startle reflex. You might even just make the next jump scare hit, like Five Nights at Freddy's. The third field is sensation and perception. So what we process, our senses, and how we interpret what we process, our perception. Psychologists who study sensation and perception are going to be experts on things like color, illusions, uh, subliminal messages. And they're going to be great in careers like media, art, designing, engineering. And this is extremely important. For instance, like say you're trying to design new safety equipment. In order for it to be high visibility and to keep more people safe, you have to be able to understand how the brain interprets and processes color. Cognitive psychology is the fourth field, and it's all about how our thoughts are related to our behavior. Cognitive psychologists are going to study things like problem solving, um, how our memories work, and try to understand things like creativity. Career choices here include things like education, or market research, and a personal favorite, criminology. Field number five is developmental psychology. And it's all about how our behaviors and thoughts change throughout our life. And I shouldn't tell you, it's not just physical aging, but it's also how our brain changes and our social behavior changes. As the life expectancy throughout the world gets older and older, studying all these different phases of life become more and more important. Career opportunities present at both ends of the age spectrum um, from working with senior citizens in places like assisted living facilities to working in education or youth advocacy programs. Big number six is personality psychology. This one 
is a lot of people's favorite because it's all about you. It's how your thoughts and behaviors make you unique. Personality psychologists have lots of ways to quantify your personal traits, and they've even developed scales to help you measure your personality traits, like the Myers-Briggs and the MMPI. So of course, you could get a job in personality testing, but there's also jobs in helping people find themselves. So things like high school counselors or admissions counselors, or even places like employment agencies. Another big career path, which often goes overlooked, is author. After all, they spend most of their time trying to create believable personalities. It really helps to have a solid understanding of personality theory when creating your characters. Lucky number seven is social psychology, which is a study of how group behavior affects an individual. We act differently when we're in groups. Or if you want to think about it the other way, you act differently in your room by yourself than if you had 10 friends in your room. Social psychologists study not just why we act differently, but how our behavior then affects the group. So career paths in this field are going to be a lot about people in groups. Uh, things like community outreach for major issues like prejudice or bias. Another big field to work in is politics because who better to predict your social media is going to get you to vote than a social psychologist. Yeah. The next one is my favorite field of psychology. It's actually my field of psychology. Field number eight, industrial organizational psychology. It's also called IO, like E-I-E-I-O, right? Just because industrial organizational, it's kind of a mouthful. So. IO psychologists study how people behave at work and how your work affects you. Most people spend most of their lives at work, and IO psychologists want to make that part of our lives better. IO psychologists tend to have specific areas of study within their field, so things like teamwork, or studying how to make tools and technology work better, or even what motivates people to go to work at all. Some of the big careers are in fields like HR and, of course, management. Field number nine is health psychology. Health psychology is all about how our behaviors impact our health and our well-being. So say you broke your foot. A health psychologist would study how your emotional reaction to the injury and how it stresses you out. The field is pretty limited because it overlaps heavily with another scientific area of study, kinesiology. But there are a lot of jobs in physical therapy and in healthcare. It also goes hand in hand with field number 10, sport and exercise psychology. Sport and exercise psychologists study how sports and exercise affect your behavior. They also study jobs that are very heavily physical, like professional athletes, but also jobs like being in the military or being an EMT. If your job involves being at top mental and physical shape, sport and exercise psychologists are going to want to know more about how you're able to do what it is you do. The 11th field is forensic psychology. And this one gets kind of a bad rap on TV where it's not portrayed very realistically, but it covers any type of psychology in relation to the justice system. So, it's not just creating personality profiles of murderers. They actually deal with a wide range of issues from dispute resolution to mediation to personal injury cases to child custody cases. Now, for the last field, clinical psychology. We kind of talked about this one at the beginning. Clinical psychology is all about diagnosing and treating psychological disorders and behavioral patterns. They are without a doubt the most popular type of psychologists, and they probably deserve to be. They're on the front lines working with the public in all types of situations, sometimes even trying to help people who might not necessarily want to be helped. It's a really hard job to listen to some of the worst things that have ever happened to people day after day, and to get up and go back to work every day just wanting to help. So. If you'd like to help out our channel, watch more great videos on psychology through Psy vs. Psy, we'll link those here. 
If you want to see our latest video, click right over here. And until we see you guys again, happy thinking. See y'all later. Bye. Okay, things that come in 12s, go. 12 inches in a foot. Like a, like a 12 pack, like Cokes? 12 strikes when you bowl a perfect game. I didn't think we'd get this far with all that. 12 days of Christmas. Uh, 12 is a dozen, right? Maybe a dozen eggs. Ooh, or a dozen donuts. Now I want donuts.